Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Bolo Biggs. Welcome back to the Highway Life. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, Kata. Um, so, I set up the canopy thinking that I would have time later to address the rain issues I'm about to have. It's coming early. I'm going to see what I can do um, on the bus, working-wise. Um, and maybe just move my chop saw, my other saw up in there. Um, show y'all what I've been dealing with. Holy shit. I should probably check to see if there's a tornado coming through. Or a hurricane. That's what happened to my canopy. Because I didn't take it down. Yeah. Hot damn. Let me back up so y'all can see, actually see all that. Alright, for those of you that are joining my series late and don't know what to do about your lock, dead boat, baby. I got one on both exits. I can open this from the outside, but since I'm in here, this is the upside view. Just prop it open. Just have a bungee cord system for now. Maybe I'll put an actual latch later. Alright, guys, um, so I am going to address my bed storage area. Um, framing and such why I did what I did um, the concept behind it and the uh, extra detail that I had to go through to accomplish what I wanted to do um, I know I wanted three things from it sorry guys I keep looking away because it's hard for me to concentrate um, airplane um, so I wanted three things I needed it to be two feet off the floor so that I could um, get my fishing cooler in and out I, I got a bit cooler, like big wall out fishing. Um, easy to get to everything um, for storage and such. Um, the second thing was I needed a sealed like compartment separating the bed area from the floor to the two exit doors um, to help control with moisture, um, temperature change and such. Um, and the last thing was I needed it to be six feet, six foot, six feet. I don't know what the right word is, but um because i wasn't going to sacrifice comfort um but also because if i get lucky come on with two midgets <laughs> anything under six feet isn't going to work donkey show wouldn't it wouldn't go anyways um let me show you what i'm doing the concept again behind it and i'll explain each step of the way this works for me i'm not saying any uh that it's for anybody else or anything like that so um yeah go i'm just going to show you what i've done um, so this is two feet off the floor from that wall. Sorry, from that wall to the handicap. This handicap door is six feet. Um, counting from stud to stud because I will be putting a board on top and then um, the mattress. So if you can, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I have several anchor points um, that I mentioned in previous episode why I did the studs the way I did for the bus. I've anchored it multiple points if there is a break i anchor it there um so my two by four is here i have one on each side the way i have it placed is so the the long piece of my two by four holds up the entire piece same thing on the other side so it's almost like an l shape like this and what that does is it gives it a good support to sit on but it also anchors to each other so that there's no bowing in my um, my legs. And I don't have to put any L brackets or anything like that um, because everything is anchored to everything else. So my anchor areas, one at the foot of the bed, one between the door because there's a break from the door to the other side, one right at the, the, the other side of the door, one in the middle, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, and then I have my L-shaped um, legs on that side, like I showed you back here. Same thing on that corner. Then I have a, a leg there um, because if there's a break in between there. I have one in the doorway, one right next to it, and I'll explain that. And back here was a little kind of tricky. Same concept, but I had to break off the leg because I needed access to my electrical for the rear um, lights. I have the two by four framing, um, a break in the middle, 
because I need the middle support. Same thing here, same thing there. The last piece where the foot is, I don't need. Um, only because it's not gonna take any weight and it's a small piece. Now to explain my double pieces here, what I've done, this is actually removable. One hand guys. Um, so that entire piece comes out and it slides back in very easily. Thought process behind that is, um, I have my bed, but I also have access to the rear door should I need to move anything in and out. Um, or if we're at a place where I don't need it right away, I can just pop everything open so it's a clean walkway. Um, and I can just pop it to the side, not a big deal. Or I can throw it underneath. To explain the double legs in the, um, where the brake is, when I cut my two by four, which ran this way to the frame of the bed, um, this part that's left behind is only supported by a little bit of the of this leg. So the next thought over was this one. So basically this one is to support this part of the frame. If you decide to go the same concept, if it is hard for you to take the board, the middle board in and out, you will have to shave like I've done or sand down There's the corners on each so that you can slide it in and out easily. Um, because I built the frame before I actually cut it. Being that this here is kind of at a slope, if you, if you look there, I had to shave or sand down a little bit of that and a little bit of that. All the pockets, this one, the middle one, and that one has the same concept as far as sealed. There will be a board underneath and it will be only a quarter inch um, in thickness because it's not gonna do anything, it's not holding my actual weight. Um, the top piece is actually gonna get a probably a half inch I think I did a half inch on my camper van and it worked out very well. Uh, so being that the board is going to come from underneath, I'm going to use this part to for my for my board. But because I'm anchored to the wall, I don't have a piece to connect my board. Otherwise, I'll have to do like a uh, maybe jig it out. Well, I would have to jig it out. So what I've done is add this trim. I'm sorry, this uh, two by two which is actually a one by one and a half by one and a half where I needed to anchor my boards, which also helps with the seal here. So if I placed it, if I did do a jigs jigsaw piece like um, for the board underneath, I would have a lot of cracks and seams. This helps eliminate that part. Now I will probably end up um, doing like a beaded seal with some cack um, to help that seal. So let's take a look underneath. When I put my quarter inch board here, I would have, this wasn't here, and that wasn't there, and that wasn't there, and that wasn't there. I would have air pockets. I would have I would have seams, I would have the draft, which we call it. Um, so that's why I put these blocks there, not just for an anchor point, but to close off the seal. Again, I might beat that up. Well, underneath, when I put my board on, it will actually attach that piece and this. Now when I do this piece, I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna come out about a quarter to maybe five eighths or three eighths um, so that I have a lip for my board. The reason why I want a lip for my board from here, I'm sorry, from here, connecting to the middle piece is I'm gonna do it just like that. So when I drop in my middle piece, when this sits on here, that'll give it another seal. I might even put um, some weather stripping, very, very thin weather stripping. So once it sits down, it basically snugs in and seals. At the foot of the bed, I am going to put another leg. The reason why I haven't done so is I'm actually going to have to cut out a section of the feet, foot area, um, so that it, it has a hinge, so that it opens. Uh, because when I put the porta potty here for my daughter, um, she won't be all squeezed in in this tight little area. At the foot of the bed, there'll be a wall going straight up to the cabinet with a pocket um, window so that I can slide down, but also give that open area um, if I wanna sleep or hang out looking out the window. So I still have full access. And, uh, and the, win the window that slides up and down to the floor uh, will allow me to just do like a laundry shoot. Before I forget guys, um, so this leg comes only to the second stud doorway. Um, there's 
looks like something's missing here. So that's actually gonna be when I do my sliding door to help seal off the bottom part of the compartment um, for it to, for it to uh, to sit on. Um, that'll also probably get a weather stripping of sort. Same thing for the bottom, and then at the foot of, at the side of the bed, that's what that's where it'll seal there. So basically, this entire compartment is gonna be sealed from the from the bedroom, from the bed area to the front um, living quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those boards and start filling in these uh, these wall areas and show you guys what I'm, what uh, what it looks. Like. I have a bunch of liquid now left over, um, cocked. Um, so I'm gonna use that to put a bead on the on the two x four underneath also. That way, when I put it on, it'll be snug, it'll be um, sealed. Um, again, airflow issues. I keep forgetting things. Um, so the reason why these are in here also so when holding the board this is going to be a compartment area same thing here and whatever i can use because the top board the the half inch i'll be able to open um i'll probably cut put holes in my two by four um so that there's airflow as far as pulling air out i'm not gonna uh I'm, i don't need to push air in um but if i get that circulating and maybe put like a computer fan drilling holes there and have the, the computer fan on the other side it'll help pull that moisture out um they're easy to wire and they're cheap uh, so basically wherever there's a break a connection to uh, the next board that's where i've cocked the outlining um i paid special attention to the seams of the two by four where it connects i left one to show you guys basically i am making sure there's no gap or oh, i'm sorry making sure i put where the gaps are at just gonna line it up Voila! So I'm just gonna pin this down with some screws. Um, any excess um, there, I'm just gonna wipe off. The first board is in place. Let me show you what the other side looks like. As you can see, you see how it's oozing? That's what I want. That means I have uh, ensured myself from board to stud to the next area that I'm sealed. I'm gonna put the rest of these boards in. You guys don't need to see that and I'll show you what it looks like. I should have showed, told you guys, this area here will not get any additional boarding, trims or anything like that. I'm gonna sand it down um, and then I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna use probably oil base cause it helps with moisture. Um, maybe dark gray or grayish, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so back here, no paneling. Up front will get panels. I was gonna address why I don't have panels up and my flooring in. Starting with paneling, I didn't feel the need to put paneling up, finish panels that is, because first, I didn't wanna pin it down in case I have to do repair to it and such. But second, I don't need that much material. I got my walls, I got my my uh, cabinet area or, or my, my storage area. Why does it need panels? It's just a waste of money in my opinion. Um, I've already saved, just from looking at what I've calculated, I've already saved at least two full-size panels, four by eight, 25 bucks a pop. Um, the more I build, the less panels I need. Um, I mean, I don't need panels in my storage, do I? No, I can just paint it, sand it down, paint it white, paint it gray, whatever. The floor, same concept, um, but more so because I don't wanna damage my flooring while I'm working second I don't want to pin it down because if there's damage I can't get to it third is there a third there's no third maybe saving money I don't know less material I have to work with um, being that I don't need panels underneath my boxes I don't know I mean no flooring uh, but more so because your floor, especially in an outside type environment, needs to breathe. Um, expanding, contracting, is contracting the word? Um, shrinkage. Um, yeah, so f repairs, shit. If it gets messed up, I, I, I'm not gonna take apart the bus just to get to one plank, you know what I mean? So yeah, so basically that's why I'm not in place yet. A head portion of the bed panel done. Um, as you can see, it's got a pretty decent sized pocket 
um, that I can use for storage um, with a lid that is. This is the quarter lip that I was talking about. So when the middle piece sits down, that'll be the seal. I'm actually gonna take this piece out here to do uh, so that um, liquid nail can dry. The middle board of the bed is done. Um, you guys see here, I left um, about, I don't know, I guess a 3 8 um, gap. Um, remember where the lip was that I left a quarter on the inside for the front, I'm sorry, for the top and the bottom. Um, that's where this is sitting. And I left the um, two by four gap there um, because that's what goes into the wall. The bed looks like in sleep mode. Um, I do not have it pressed all the way down because um, I still have work to do. But basically what the, those are what the compartments look like. Again, I'll address that when I get the porta potty in for jury. Um, and then I'm gonna pick up some wood probably tomorrow, if not Monday or Tuesday, for the half inch that I'm gonna put on top for the um, for the top of the bed. We are finally addressing the couch. So you see this frame here, guys? That wasn't the couch. I actually built it because it's a square, half of a squared off um, structure. I made it because I need a large squared measuring device or tool if you will uh to assist me to have assist me not even a word with the front framing because remember it was staggered i placed it down in here to get it out of the heat so that it wouldn't warp fuck fuck me silly i got a couch i made it by accident i'm not gonna lie to y'all <laughs> so i was like well how the hell can i use that right so this is the top portion of my couch slash bed. Imagine if it was on a platform with the same size, same structure, same height as this top piece. So basically, I think it's like one and a half feet. So I have a platform box that's one and a half feet tall. This sits on top of it. If I use brackets or hinges for the, bot the front area, if I open it, boom those are my legs for my couch for my bed but in in place it's the backing of the couch <laughs> yeah right i'm just gonna run into full distance instead of doing that l shape i'm gonna have the foot rest be removable um so that way i can move it around the bus and use it as a chair and when it's not i can place it i'm using two by threes because i don't necessarily need the two by fours um unlike the top piece uh, because only the top of it is on, only gonna get the um, the board. Um, I need to put one more down there but I don't know where I need it yet because of the foot step, the foot stool and how this piece is gonna sit on top. I'm gonna go ahead and push this to the side and do the bottom. You can't tell but I have it sitting on top of each other. So basically now I need to put those legs on each corner and then anything in between that will offset and balance um the base out and these other ones are flat because i need to anchor it down to my beams if you see those blue lines those are the two by sixes which is identical to the um frame of the bus um the metal rails underneath the bus this frame here will get a quarter um inch plywood or whatever i need to put a second one but only about here so that when I put the top base on, it has room to to uh, to open without scraping and messing up the, the arm rest. Went ahead and put the legs on before I got out of here, um, just cause I was a little excited. I'm actually gonna have to remove these two, cut them shorter so that they sit on that two by four that's laid flat now. Uh, I just didn't like the look or the placement of that. Can't back up anymore, but that's basically what the couch looks like. Um, I might end up chopping it down, maybe uh, one and a half, two inches. I don't like the height of it, especially once I get the cushion on there. Uh, wouldn't be a lot of work or anything like that. I just need to take the leg off and, um, well, the leg off the top and the bottom. But it would look like in sleep mode. Again, it would have been sitting, sitting like this. And then all I did was just fold it over. So the back piece is actually your leg piece. Um, I'm gonna go home tonight after I pick up Joey and think about my adjustment on the height um but i'm pretty satisfied with it so far
I think everything's progressing along nicely now. Um, so yeah. Again, the day you got away from me, guys. I apologize. I gotta head out of here and pick up Joey Smalls uh, for Father's Day weekend. Um, I don't know when I'll be back. Maybe she'll want to work with me. I don't know. Um, it's not a complete video because I didn't complete show you guys the complete bed or the complete couch bed. Um, but I do still hope you guys get some useful tips or some use out of the video. Um, and I hope I didn't confuse anybody with all my concepts and things and so on and so on. Anyways, be good. Be good to each other. Your boy Big loves you. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Deuces. And thanks for watching.